In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I got full 360 degree controller movement on keyboard and mouse. Quick disclaimer, this won't be free. It's going to be about $20 and you're going to need a 3D printer. But don't worry, if you don't have a 3D printer, there's another option for you. All right, so basically you guys have one option, which is this company called Gaming Mod Kits. Their website's gamingmodkits.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Basically, they make these $50 keyboard joysticks that are customizable to every single thing you could think of, every single color. You can put your own gamer tag on it. It's personalized to what you guys want. Along with that, if you guys want to support me, I'd highly appreciate it if you use code Merrick in the support a creator option before you buy one. If not, that's all right. But with that said, let's get into this video. All right, along with having a 3D printer, you're going to have to buy these parts right here. Um, it's cheaper to buy a pack of five joysticks along with 120 breaded board wires than buy them separately. I don't know why, but it is. And then you guys can get an Arduino Micro or a Pro Micro. You can get one for about $20 pre-soldered, or you can get one for $10 if you want to solder it yourself. All right, so basically this is the design that I chose. Um, it's a little different than the Gaming Mod Kits one because the analog stick is actually going to be directly on the side instead of at an angle. I just thought that this was more comfortable for my personal hand position. Along with that, so basically your hand rests up here. The Arduino Micro sits down in here. Um, the wires come out here and then the pins on the Arduino analog stick come back out here and they plug in through that. And then through this hole right here, the micro USB plugs into the Arduino micro to give it power. Along with that, I made this bottom right here for it that screws on. Gives it a little bit more height, which I thought it needed. Um, keeps it away from the keyboard a little bit because um, I 3D printed it a little too skinny. And then also this part goes under the keyboard to um, so that the keyboard pushes pressure on it so that it'll stay still. This is a left-handed design, so unless you guys are left-handed, you're going to have to create your own. Um, but I'll leave a link so that you guys can see kind of the dimensions and everything about it. All right, so for the analog stick cover so that it doesn't overextend the analog stick and create other problems, I found this on Thingiverse. It works really well. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. By the way, I'm going to leave a link to just about everything if I haven't mentioned that already. Bear with me here, I made this crappy diagram because I forgot to record the actual process, but basically what you guys want to do to connect the Arduino Micro to the analog is connect ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt. Unless you have a Pro Micro, then you're going to connect 5 volt to VCC. Um, connect the x-axis to AO, connect y-axis to A1, and then connect the SW, which is switch, connect that to pin 9. All right, so once you have your Arduino all set up and plugged in, what you want to do is download the newest version of Arduino software and then go to Tools, go to the board, and make sure it has Arduino micro checked. And then the port, it will show up for you guys. Um, you just want to make sure that it has the correct USB port that your Arduino micro is plugged into. For some reason, it's not showing up for me right now. Then you want to put this code in that I have right here. Depending on if you have a right-handed one, you might not put this in right here, but if you're using a left-handed one, you will put in this line of code. Once you've done that, you just have to verify it and then upload it to your Arduino Micro. All right, so once you've done that, to make sure that your Arduino is working, go into USB game controllers right here, and then your Arduino Micro will show up. You double click on that and you can move the stick around and it should move this little X around in the directions that you need. And then when you push down on your joystick button, it should make that um, number one glow. If that happens, then you know that yours is working. To emulate your Arduino as an Xbox controller and get actual controller movement, go to x360ce.com and download the newest version for all games. All right, so once you have the program downloaded, it'll be a zip file. Just drag it onto your desktop and it'll look like this. You want to create a new folder, uh, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it as new folder. Then right click on the x360ce zip folder and then press extract all and then go to desktop new folder select folder and then extract it to that folder it'll look like this once you've extracted it then open up another file explorer explorer tab then go to this pc local disk program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then all you have to do 
is move it into this folder right here. As you can see, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. What I recommend after you've done that is right click on the file and then create shortcut and then drag the shortcut onto your desktop. Um, it just makes it easier. You can open it from your desktop. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. Then you want to run it as administrator. Yours will start out like this. All you have to do is enable zero mapping devices and then add right here and then go to your Arduino, add selected device and then just um, map it like this, how I have it. And as you can see, it will move around like an Xbox controller. Once you have done that, you're gonna wanna go up to the game right here, switch it to uh, Fortnite and then press save all. And then you're good to minimize the program, but don't close out of it or it'll stop working. And once you're in game, you'll have the actual controller movement on keyboard and mouse, and you won't just have remapped a WASD to an analog stick. One issue I've run into with this program is if you close out of Fortnite, but don't close out of the program, it will say running right here. Um, all you have to do is just reopen the program and then close out of it, and it'll stop saying that. So here I'm gonna show you guys all the modifications I made to it after it's fully built. For the analog stick cover, I rounded out the sides and then I also um, cut out this part right here. There's like usually a little part below that just to make it fit better on mine. And then I also um, am using a Xbox um, analog stick kind of thing instead. So I had to cut out the inner ring of an Xbox controller and glue it into this one, which fit perfect, works great. I also put some like baseball grip, grip tape on here. It's really thick, so it's very comfortable on my hand along with adds more grip. Then um, I made a little slot right there, as you can see, for my keyboard foot. That makes it so it does not move at all, keeps it in place. Along with, I put some electrical tape to give the other parts that are making contact to the other parts of the keyboard, more grip on it. All right, so I did not add this hole right here for the keyboard foot to the 3D print because each keyboard foot is going to be different depending on your keyboard. But how you're gonna create this is put masking tape down on here, something you can write on, something that'll stick to it and you can write on it. Once you've done that, put like marker this foot right here. I use like a Sharpie and then you can stamp it down onto where you want and it'll come out with a print of the square in the shape that you're going to need to cut out and you can just can just cut it out with like a small saw or something and your keyboard foot should fit perfectly and you think should stay still after that so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this also helped you guys along with i'm going to be creating some other videos on this analog stick like binds that you should use and my progression like seven days and a month and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see those videos, subscribe and stay tuned.